Alright, so we are at uh, Hurtigruten cruise ship heading down the coast, the Norwegian coast. The view is epic, check it out. And uh, I am doing a VO2 max interval session today. So I'm just warming up right now. Luckily there was no one else at the pump trading mill. And uh, it's gonna be tough. Today's workout is going to be two times three minutes at VO2 max pace uh, with two minutes jog in between. Then I'm gonna do two times four minutes at VO2 max pace, it's gonna be tough with uh, three minutes rest and then finally I'm gonna do another two times three minutes with two minutes rest. So it's pretty much uh, the same as if I was on a track and I did a 800 and 1000 meter uh, interval session. So, Matt is on the elliptical. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing a full day. So, pull ups, bent over rows, some biceps. Yeah, give me it simple. Yesterday I was uh, running outside on the deck. That was quite fun. Just for an easy workout, you know, easy run. But today I'm gonna do some crazy intense stuff, so I don't want to crash into any old ladies uh, on the deck. So that's why I'm here on the treadmill. And it's a, it's a sturdy treadmill, so uh, it'll be okay. In terms of speed, I'll probably aim to, to go around 345 minutes per kilometer pace, which I think is like 16 kilometers per hour. So uh, anyway, we'll get uh, through with our warm up, and then I'll get Matt to be, do some filming uh, when I'm in my, my main workout. Accelerometer in there, so based on my arm swing, it sort of estimates my pace. So that was one metric, and then there was the kilometers per hour metric on the treadmill, and that was seemed to be a little bit off. But I more or less went by heart rate. And interestingly enough, lately in the cool weather, my heart rate has been lower at VO2 max and at lactate threshold. Whereas now, in this room where it's very warm, you can see I'm sweating like a maniac, uh, sweat all over the place. Um, my heart rate back up to where it normally was a month ago in the hot weather, so I was up to around 195 BPM, etc. So that's interesting. It's definitely quite different to do a VO2 max workout on a treadmill. One of the aspects is that it's relentless, you know what I mean? Like the speed is fixed. So on a positive note, you get to control the speed better on a treadmill. Uh, but then again, if you're tired, 
you can't slow down you just got to keep going so every now and then I had to sort of regulate the speed a little bit down maybe if I was struggling towards the end of a rep or vice versa so this is my last VO2 max like high volume VO2 max workout before my half marathon in a little bit more than two weeks um, so next week I'm starting to taper I'm gonna do a few VO2 max sessions that are lower volume just to sort of maintain uh, but uh, this is the last hard workout and then depending on how I feel I might do a lactate threshold workout tomorrow and then I have a long run on Sunday in uh, Bergen before heading home with the train uh, through the mountains and that's gonna be cool and then uh, that's it then I start my taper and it's back to uh, uh, back home and just building uh, building myself up again because I'm quite run down now after all the training and some of the sleep deprivation on this trip I'm pretty run down and so I need to sort of rest up now recharge and uh, get that super compensation happening so that uh, I'm fit and ready for the half marathon in a couple of weeks anyway thanks for watching I'm gonna do my little cool down now and then I'm gonna go have lunch the view is uh, very good although during the, the repetitions I was just looking down not to trip on the treadmill I don't want to trip so uh, I didn't really look much out but now I'm gonna cool down I'm gonna look out and I'm gonna look at the nice blue water and uh, yeah Thanks for watching. Post your comments down below what you think about this workout. Do you go on the treadmill sometimes? Let me know. See you around.